Welcome to the Business of Government Hour. I'm Michael Keegan, your host and managing editor of the Business of Government magazine. Every day across the United States, the nation's health and human services agencies touch millions of lives. These agencies are serving record numbers because jobs are scarce and living expenses are high. In a time of sharply rising needs and limited budgets, these agencies recognize that they need to change the way they do business. The human services system is now on an unsustainable path. Its operations are too fragmented, too focused on process, and too inefficient to deliver on outcomes. Public human services must move in a new direction, down new pathways, if it is to meet increased demand for assistance at a time of tight budgets and heightened expectations. What are the critical challenges and significant trends facing health and human service agencies? How does the American Public Human Services Association's Pathways Initiative seek to transform this system? We will explore these questions and so much more with our very special guest, Tracy Waring, Executive Director of the American Public Human Services Association. Tracy, welcome to the show. It's great to have you. Great to be here. Thank you very much for the invitation. Also joining our conversation from IBM is Nicole Gartner. Nicole, welcome. Thank you so much, Michael. So, Tracy, before we delve into specific initiatives, perhaps you can provide us with a brief overview of the history, mission, and activities of the American Public Human Services Association. When was it created, and how has its mission evolved to date? Yeah, we are, we're a bipartisan, nonprofit membership organization. Uh, we represent public sector human service agencies at the state and local level through their top-level executives and their senior leadership. And what that really means is that there are government agencies uh, in states and in local jurisdictions that provide nutrition assistance programs, aging and ability, uh, disability services, child welfare, and other types of supports. And those agencies and their leadership come to us uh, to support their work um, as a membership association. Our mission is to pursue excellence in human services by supporting our member agencies, informing and working with national policymakers in particular, and working with partners to drive integrated and efficient solutions in policy and practice. We were created actually in 1930, so have been around for a really long time. We had a name change uh, around the time of welfare reform. We were the American Public Welfare Association, changed to American Public Human Services Association. We have nine affiliate organizations whose members help administer specific programs uh, like SNAP, which is a food stamp uh, program, as well as things that really cross the enterprise of a public sector agency like information technology. So we have our IT solutions management um, group that uh, brings together professionals who work within human service agencies and support their technology needs. And really, in, in all, what we do is help represent members before national policymakers on issues of human services. We issue policy recommendations. We bring our members together to have conferences and meetings to exchange best practices and information uh, in the field. And we work to prepare guidance and tools that support our 